No, I'm, I'm not making it up. Look, all Appleton area schools will be closed tomorrow, Tuesday, February 2nd, during inclement weather. All after school program. No, no, it's right here on the website. Plus all the other schools. There's a ton. Everything's everything's been canceled. <laughs> Winter storm. Bucky is moving in. Bucky, 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 all right, we're going to get the snow this afternoon, mainly heavy at times, run of the snow between 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock, and let me show you where this is right now. There's a big snowstorm coming, apparently. We haven't seen any snow yet, but all the schools are canceled. They actually canceled last night. Kids are home, crawling around. I think it's time to make a snowman. We're going to do some drawing in Scratch. It's a coding program, but it's also a fun little place to create new characters and backdrops and things like that. And today, being a snow day, we're going to make a snowman. So first, we're going to start off by getting rid of our character and the initial character, our scratch character. And you can do that by right-clicking on him and choosing Delete. And then let's take a look at the stage. I like the stage. It's a big white background, but that's not really what we would see if we go outside. So let's just add a little bit of background to the stage so the snowman has something to sit you know, in front of. First things first, I think this is the biggest thing, and we're going to talk about this in a little bit. I wish that Scratch started off not in bitmap mode, but in vector mode. So I like to hit the button that says convert to vector. And what that does is it allows you to use shapes to get into um, drawing the things that you want. And so now you can create different shapes that you're interested in and then kind of manipulate them. Okay, sprite time. We need a new sprite. Easy enough to do, you can paint your new sprites down here. And I'm gonna click on that. And let's just go into what it would look like if you just started off drawing it with the bitmap mode. You'd have, you know, a snowman. You'd start off with your lines. You'd fill them in like you always do. You'd go and pick a color. Choose fill. You still have the gradients to work with, but see how you can't like gradient again? It gets all gross because it's treating it like little tiny blocks all the time. And we don't want that. We want it to um, always be able to be readjusted. Another problem with this mode is if you were to kind of come by and use the pen or the brush, and let's say we want to put some coal eyes on here. We're going to draw these on and I could make the line bigger, as people do, and I draw them on, and they look pretty funky. The, the, the problem is I, I can't reshape them. I'm, I'm stuck with what I have, and then what I, what I really don't like, it's just not made out of basic shapes that you can manipulate and move. I see a lot of projects on Scratch that are drawn with characters and backgrounds in bitmap mode is that they wind up being all, you know, just really blocky and gross. So, you know, as I zoom in, the problem is that the blockiness here is just gonna get worse and worse and worse. And it's just, it's not gonna be smoothed out. It's just gonna be a rough kind of looking thing. Now to solve that problem, I think a new sprite is created in the paint mode but then come down here and convert, like I said before, convert to vector mode. What I like about this is you can make your characters into tiny little pieces, and then you can go slowly through them and make adjustments with the reshape, with the resize, and it's not just destroying everything. So let's just let's get started making our snowman. Like most of the time you think you'd want your snowman, your snowball, to just have white all the way around. Fill it in with white and have the outside line be white. The trouble with that is it just kind of blurs into everything. So you might want to put like just a tiny gray outline to it. And so then, then your character can stand out a little bit more in the background and you could start off with that. The other thing I think about a snowman is like, yes, they are made out of, you know, spheres, three like, you know, balls basically of different size. But when you look at a snowman, they're never really like that. You, you kind of have a little deformation they're a little flatter on the base because they're sitting in the snow. And up here, you could add a few more points to reshape it. 
so that when you put your next ball on top of there, it kind of looks a little bit more realistic. Now here's what's nice, I can click on it, I can use the select tool, select the whole thing, and I can just make a duplicate. So now I can just take another one and put it right there. And I have the ability to sort of just reshape it and set it up on there like so. And if you want to add a little variation to it, you can sort of reshape the this ball just a little bit so it's not an exact copy of the one below because when you make snowmen, right, they're all unique. Once you like the body, you can draw a box around it and you can group it. And so now this moves around and it's always grouped like that. You can always ungroup it too and take pieces apart if you didn't like the way they're looking and you can put them back together. Let's work on the head. So there's our snowman. Now I would back out one more time and draw one big piece around here and group the whole thing. And then a lot of times people forget about this. This button right here sets the center of the costume. So you want your, the costume being the character in this case, you want him to be sort of right smack in the middle of his body. So you can do that and just make sure that it is, which is something that you're comfortable with, wherever you want the center to be. So now we have our snowman. We can go over to the scripts and we can change some of the looks. You know, maybe we want the snowman to get smaller. If we click on the change size by, and I change it to negative 10, it can get smaller and smaller as you see. And you notice it's not distorting. It's not getting, you know, if we even if we zoom in, it still stays like a smooth look to it. It doesn't get really um, pixelated or blocky looking and I can set it back to this another thing is if you don't like how big this is you're gonna say okay this snowman is too big now I really want it to be small from the get-go you can go back to the costume and uh, we have the whole thing grouped together so you can hold the shift key down and just you know shrink it down to a size that you're happy with and then just make sure to recenter it all right so that's how you make a snowman or any kind of character in Scratch using, most importantly, the vector mode just by putting shapes together. Hope you like it. Go off and make a character of your own. It has begun.